cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Yes, hello, good afternoon po. Namiss nyo ba ako? Ayan. Soaking, soaking tayo ng Masalino Day Friday ngayong araw na ito. No? So, welcome again sa ating debit online tutorial lang itulay. Kasama, of course, ang yung Tutor of Hill para sa quarters of uh, 4, week 7 ng Mathematics 10. Ayan. At bago ang lahat, ha, wag po natin kalimutan na ilike at share ang ating Facebook page, ang debit Philippines, debit TV, Deped tayo at Deped EdTech Unit. Huwag din pong kalimutan na mag-subscribe sa ating official YouTube channel, ang Deped TV Official, Deped Philippines, at, at Educational Technology Unit. At palambing na rin po, ah, huwag pong kalimutan na ilike at share ang aking personal page, ang Simply of Hill. At syempre po sa aming paaralan, Samal National High School Annex Official at Deped TV One Bataan Production Team. Muli po, isang magandang hapon sa ating lahat at welcome sa ating Deped Online Tutorial, ang Itulay for Mathematics 10. Magandang hapon, Joshua Pasyon. Nakasama ko na yata sa lahat ng grade level. Maraming salamat. Ha. At Gabriel Kerubin, magandang magandang hapon din. Ganyan din kay Maria Concepcion uh, Maganday uh, Diastan from Bedbed National High School, Mankayan District, SD of Benguet. At syempre rin ha, sabi ni, ayan, batiin natin ang ating doc, tutor RJ Calaguas na mula pa sa Magalang Pampanga. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagtutok, doc. Ayan. Okay, so tuloy-tuloy lamang tayo ulit ha, at batiin lang na sila Lynn Ancheta nga pala from Kidapawan City Division, FSMES. Magandang magandang hapon din po sa inyo. Okay, so magsimula tayo ng ating pag-aaral for this afternoon. Sabi ko nga kanina, we are on the quarter four Week 7, last 2 weeks to go, mag and learners. Next week ay magkakaalaman na kung talaga bang go kayo para matuto at go na kayo for our senior high school, di ba? Sana naman na nakatulong ng mabuti ang debit online tutorial para siguradong makausad tayo ng maayos sa ating mga pag-aaral. So para sa ating mathematics 10, ang ating pag-aaralan ay tungkol pa rin sa solving problems involving measures of position. Ito lamang ay pagpapatuloy ng ating pinag-aralan noong nakaraang linggo kung saan pinag-aralan naman natin ang quartile at decile for group data. Ngayon naman, ang pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa percentile for the group data. Okay, tuloy natin. Acknowledgement lang sa Schools Division of Bataan at LRMDS Bataan para sa module na ating ginagamit para maging reference sa ating DepEd Online Tutorial 
para sa ating Mathematics 10. Maganda, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpayag na gamitin po ito. Yes, hello, good afternoon din, Santos. Uh, Mutok, Gio, hello po, good afternoon. Okay, ano nga ba ang ating layunin? Same pa rin po, uh, makapag-solve ng mga problems involving measures of position. So, let's have a review. Ang ating formula para sa quartile for group data is Q sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 4 minus CFB divided by FQ sub K times I. Paano basahin to? LB is the lower boundary. N is the total frequency. CFB is the cumulative frequency before the Q sub K class. FB or FQ sub K is the frequency of the Q sub K class. I is the size of class interval. And K is the N quartile, wherein N is equal to 1, 2, and 3 that, because we're talking about the quartile. Ano nga sa'yo, Tutor Jessica? Ayan. So, uh, pag binasa natin ng formula, this will be the quartile is equal to the lower boundary plus the quantity of the quartile times the total frequency over 4 minus the cumulative frequency before the Q sub K class over the frequency of the Q sub K class times the class interval. Ayan. Tutor of Hill, nalito naman ako kung paano basahin. Okay lang yon. Ang pinakamahalaga ay tandaan mabuti kung paano sinusulat ang formula and at the same time kung paano substitute na mga given sa formula para siguradong matututunan natin at masusundan natin ang pagsusolve nito. Pwede ba yun? Okay, very good. Now, let us have another review. Last week din, pinag-aralan natin ang formula ng deciles for the group data. Deciles are those values that divide the total frequency into 10 equal parts. The formula will be D sub K is equal to LB plus the quantity K sub N or K times N over 10 minus CFB over FQ sub K times I. Where? Paano ulit basahin? LB is the lower boundary of D sub K class. N is the total frequency. CFB is the cumulative frequency of the class before the D sub K class. FQ or FD sub K is the frequency of the D sub K class. I is the size of class interval. And K is the nth decile where N is equal to 1 to 9 dahil meron labang tong 10 equal parts at yung N will be equal to 1 to 9 labang na positions. Okay, now, ang ating topic this afternoon ay tungkol sa percentile for group data. Kung mapapansin natin, all of them have the same formula. Lahat sila ay pare-parehas ang formula. Nagkakaiba lamang ito sa denominator. Katulad ng ating ungroup data, kapag quartile ang pinag-uusapan, the denominator will be 4. Kapag decile ang pinag-uusapan, the denominator will be 10. While pag percentile ang pag-uusapan, the denominator will be 100. For the formula for percentile data, for group data, P sub K, is equal to LB plus the quantity KN over 100 minus CFB over FP sub K times I. Wherein, kung babasayan ulit natin, LB is equal to the lower boundary of the K per or the KTH percentile class. N is the total frequency. CFB is the cumulative frequency of the class before the percentile class, FQ sub, FP sub K is the percentile of the uh, frequency of the percentile class, and I is the class interval, and K is the N percentile where N is equal to what? 1 to 99 because we're talking about percentile. Nakuha ba? Kamot ulo ba? O nasunda naman? Okay lang ha, okay lang yan. Kung medyo nahihirapan, pumunta lamang tayo lagi sa... Hashtag Team Replay. Yan, para ma-review ninyo. Or pwede nyo naman din panoorin ng ating episode sa ating official YouTube channel, ang Deped Philippines at Educational Technology Unit. Ayan, para siguradong masusundan natin yung process. Now, let's have an example. Calculate 
the 65th percentile of the mathematics test scores of 50 students. There is a table given. The scores are 21 to 25. Merong anim na batang nakakuha. 26 to 30, there are 12 students. 31 to 35, there are 9. 36 to 40, there are 11 students. 41 to 45, there are 8 students. And 46 to 50, there are 4 students. Sabi ni Joshua, opo, naiintindihan ko po. Very good, Joshua. Ngayon, paano ba muna natin malalaman yung mga position nila? Like, how are we going to get the lower boundary? How are we going to get the um, cumulative frequency? Paano ba rin natin makukuha yung ating... Um, yung ating pinaka um, class, percentile class. Okay. This is how we compute that. So, makikita natin. Makikita nyo dyan yung solution natin. Dinagdagan lamang natin ng lower boundary at yung less than cumulative frequency. So, kapag ganyan ang given natin, papataas. So, pakita lang natin. Bigyan natin ng konting mark ha. Like for example, 21 to 25 yung nasa ilalim natin. Ito. Ibig sabihin, Ang ating computation mga um, mga great and learners will be from here going up. Mula sa 6, sa frequency ng 6, papunta sa taas. So 6 plus 12, nakuha yung 18. 18 plus 9, 27. 27 plus 11, 38. And so on and so forth. Now, the 28 to 38 score na hinahanap natin kasi dyan, ang P sub 65 class, will be equivalent to 65N over 100. That will become 265 times 50. Dahil yung 50 natin ay total number of students over 100. Now, let us continue. On that case, yung 32 or pag minultiply na natin 65 and 50, we will have now 3,250 over 100. That will give you 32.5 na product. This means we need to find the class interval where the 32 fifth or point fifth score is contained. Note that do sa class ng 28 ito, pakita natin na ito. Yung sa ating 28, 27 to 38 na interval ito yon. Dito papasok yung ating 32.5 sa 38 na na frequency, commutative frequency. From there, yes hello po, good uh, good afternoon Maria Lourdes Madelo. So note, um, we will have the interval of 36 to 40. Ito yung ating magiging interval, 36 to 40. So for us to get for the P sub 65, makikita nyo na yung mga given natin dito, lower boundaries is 35.5, our N is 50, community frequency below is 27, our frequency of the percentile class is 11. Ito yun. Ayan yung may bilog natin nakikita. And then our interval is 5. Paano ulit nakuha yung 5? We have 1, uh, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So there are 5. Yun ang ating class interval. So hindi tayo nagma-minus na 50, minus 46. Kaya natin nakukuha. But we are counting from the interval itself. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Kaya 5 ang ating class interval. And then, 65 over N over 100 or 65 times N over 100 will give you the percentile of 32.5. Yun yung ating percentile position. Watching down from Tagacoa National High School, si Maria Lourdes Madelo, good afternoon. At watching from Bukidno National High School of Home Industries, si NOV, um, NOV Odd No There. Tama po ba? Or baka baliktad kasi yung apelido? Ayun. So magandang magandang hapon po. At salamat po sa panonood. Okay. So, mula sa ating given, kukuha ni naman natin yung formula. So, we will have the copy of the formula. Our formula is P sub 65 is equal to the lower boundary times the quantity 65 times N over 100 minus cumulative frequency below divided by the frequency of the percentile class which is P65 times I, yung ating interval. Yes, hello din po. Good afternoon, Jesse Punayo Jr. And after that, uh, ang gagawin natin substitute ang ating given to our formula, you will have now P sub 65 is equal to 35.5, yung ating lower boundary, plus the quantity 32.5 minus 27 divided by 11 times 5. Ang ating P sub 65 is equal to 38. Therefore, 
65% of the students got a score less than or equal to 36 to 40. Tutor Abhil, paano naman po nagkaroon ng interpretation na ganyan? Kapag gumagawa tayo ng interpretation, mga grade 10 learners, tatandaan nyo lang mabuti na we will just get the, 60, the percentage of what we're, go, we're, what we're getting. Since percentile ito, at P sub 65, automatic this will become 65%. Dahil ang denominator natin ay 100. So pwede natin sabihin na 65 of the students got a score less than or equal to. Tutor Abil, saan po nang galing yung 36 to 40? Yung 36 to 40, ito naman ang interval kung saan napapaloob yung ating nakuhang sagot. So that's why ang class interval niya is under the 36 to 40. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, yan ang may Dilog. Ayan. Hello po. Um, good afternoon from City of San Jose del Monte, Bulacan, Sir Rosana Alvario Delante. Good afternoon po. Now let's have percentile rank. How are we going to solve for percentile rank? Pakita nga daw muna natin. Okay. Ang percentile rank, that is a percentile uh, typically defined as the proportion of scores in a distribution that a specific score is greater than or equal to. The percentile rank is computed as follows. Percentile rank is equal to 100 over N times the quantity P minus lower boundaries times the frequency of the percentile over I plus the cumulative frequency of the percentile rank. Yun, nalito na naman sila. Chutrabi, ang dami na namang formula. Again, you can watch this episode sa ating official YouTube channel or pwede yung balikan sa ating Facebook page para makasama kayo sa ating hashtag Team Replay. Yan. And at the same time, you can PM me. Pwede po kayo mag-PM sa akin um, through my page, Simply Abhil, or sa aking Facebook account sa Abhil Mihino para po kung may mga tanong, pwede po rin ako makasagot sa inyo. Ayan. So where PR is equal to the percentile rank, the answer will be percentage. And then yung CFP, or the cumulative frequency of the values below critical value. Pinaman will be the row score or value which one wants to find a percentile rank. LB is a lower boundary. N is the total frequency. And I is the size of our class interval. Now, let's have an example. Assume that a researcher wanted to know the percentage of consultants who made 5,400 pesos or more per day. Wow, ang taas naman ng sahod. It's 5,400 pesos per day. Yan. So now we have three columns. Consultant fees in peso, number of consultants, and cumulative frequency. Under the consultant fees in peso, we have 1,600 to 2,799. 2,800 to 3,999, 4,000 to 5,199, 5,200 to 6,399, 6,400 to 7,599. The number of consultants are as follows. 20, uh, 15, 26, 19, 36, and 24. Cumulative frequency Starting from adding 15, ito muna tayo, 15, 15 plus 26, magiging sagot ay 41. 41 plus 19, magiging sagot ay 60. 60 plus 36, the answer will become 96. And 96 plus 24, the answer will become 120. Therefore, our N is equal to 120, which is the total number of frequency. Can you follow? Nasundan ba? Okay, very good. Now, let us continue. To solve for this, the solution will be like this one. 5,400 is within 5,200 to 6,399. Na, uh, kung mapapasin ninyo, given na kasi yung hinahanap natin, ang hinahanap lang is yung percentile rank ng given. Okay. Lower boundary will be 5,199.5. Kung uulitin natin, nakukuha ang ating lower boundary by subtracting 0.5 dun sa ating lower limit or sa ating um, lower class interval and then adding uh, 0.5 para naman sa ating um, higher boundary or pinaka parang high boundary dun sa ating um, sa ating um, higher limit. Yun. And then, N is equal to 120, the total number of frequency. 
Then the percentile or what we call the um, the value of the percentile is 5,400, which is sabi ko nga already given. Ang community frequency naman of the percentile, kung makikita nyo saan ba yung class ng 5,200 to 6,399 ay 60. And then the frequency of the percentile is 36. And then we have the interval of 1,200. Now, sabi ko nga kanina, di ba mga great and learners, ang pinakamahalaga dito is how are you going to substitute the value of the given to the formula. Hindi naman masyadong mahalaga na abisado natin ang formula. Kasi ang formula, pwede naman niyang tandaan or pwede naman niyang isulat. And then at the same time, yan kasi ay knowledge. Samantalang yung pinaka-process o yung skill, yun ang dapat ang matutunan natin dahil kapag hindi tayo marunong mag-substitute, basically, mahihirapan na rin tayong mag-solve hanggang sa makuha natin ang final answer. Or possibly, meron tayong makuha ang sagot pero mali. Kaya dapat matutunan natin ang tamang pag sa substitute. Now, as I was saying, substitution will be the next step for us to solve for the given. We substitute the given to our formula. We will have now P or the percentile of the percentile ranked is equal to 100 over N times the quantity P minus lower boundary times the frequency of the percentile class over I or the interval plus the cumulative frequency of the percentile class. Substituting the given to our formula, we will have now 100 over 120 times the quantity 5,400 minus 5,199.5 times 36 over 1,200 plus 60. If you have calculator at home, pwede nyo nang isolve para ma-check natin kung tama bang 55.01 ang ating percentile rank. At dahil ang given natin ay 55 or ang ating file answer ay 55.01, that is that will be approximately 55. So since pinag-uusapan natin ay percentile rank, therefore, the answer will become 55%. Ayan. So therefore, 55% of the consultants make 5,400 pesos or less per day while 45% of the consultants make 5,400 or more per day. Tutor Avil, saan naman po nakuha ang 45% sa interpretation? Simple, may minus lang natin o sinubtract lang natin ang 55% from 100%. So basically, we will have 100 minus 55. That will give you 45%. So dyan nakuha yung ating interpretation. Nakuha ba? Sabi ng mga great and learners, two weeks na lang, Chutra of Hill, parang na, ang hirap pala nung last topic. Yes po, um, hindi siya totaling mahirap, pero nakakalito siya. So, uh, what, ang kailangan mo ang gawin, sabi ko nga is, you must know how to master the process of substitution and the rest will follow. Kung alam natin kung paano mag-substitute ng given sa ating formula, basically, lahat yan masusunod-sunod na. Kasi, ikaw, i, i, ano lang natin, i-combine na lang natin. And of course, you can use calculator for this para mas accurate din. Okay? Paano nga daw? Pa-heart sign nga daw sa ating comment section kung nanonood pa at nakikinig pang mabuti ang ating mga kasama this afternoon. Pa-heart sign nga. Yeah, tingnan natin ha. Okay, now, dahil um, natapos naman ang ating um, decile, quartal, and percentile for the group data, ngayon naman ay subukan natin ang activity na ito. Ayan. So, this is for the ungrouped data pa din. Ha? Balikan lang natin. Kasi by next week, we will have the review. At susubukan pa rin naman natin na ah, magbigay ng konting um, hint or tip for mathematics. And especially sa mga magsi-senior high school. Kasi medyo mas komplikado na ng konti ang inyong mathematics. Pero katulad lang lagi siya sabi ni Chutra Abhil, walang komplikado sa mga batang disididong matuto. And at the same time, Wag nating hayaang paglaruan tayo ng mga numero bagkus tayo dapat ang magpaikot sa kanila. ba? Tama ba yun? Kasi syempre numbers lang sila, tao tayo, ba? So dapat tayo ang magpaikot sa mga numero. Okay, so let us continue. This is for the ungrouped data, mga great and learners. Still watching daw si Gabriel Carabin. Maraming maraming salamat, anak. So analyze and solve 
the following problems involving measures of position and write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Show your solution if possible. So since nanonood naman kayo sa akin, you can use your scratch paper and pen. You can have your calculator as well para naman po maka uh, maging accurate or ma-check nyo kung tama ba ang inyong mga kasagutan. So we have the problem on our monitor. Mr. Cariaso is the sales manager of Raven's Bookstore. He has 40 sales staff members who visit college professors all over the Philippines. Each Saturday morning, he requires his sales staff to send him a report. This report includes, among other things, the number of professors visited during the previous week. Listed below, ordered from smallest to largest, are the number of professors visited last week. Ayan, nakaayos na po yan ha. Hindi na natin i-arrange. But do not forget, if we will use the measures of position, the first step that you need to do for the ungrouped data is to arrange the following data from smallest to largest value. Ayan. Now, let us continue. We are about to determine the following, the third quartile, the seventh decile, and the 80th percentile. But since time is running out, ang isasolve na lang natin ang ating third quartile. Yung seventh decile at 80th percentile, you can use that as practice exercises sa inyong mga tahanan. So now let us compute. Let us determine the third quartile. This is ungrouped data. Ha? Uh, nag review na tayo for ungrouped data. Ulitin lang natin, kapag ungrouped data, what will be the formula? Q sub K, dahil we're talking about quartile, is equal to K over 4 times, ano daw? N plus 1. We're getting about the position of the quartile. The given R, kung kinukuha natin ng Q sub 3, what are the given? Uh, sorry, medyo naglaro na naman si Chutra Bill ng ano? Q sub 3. What will be the given? This is unknown. So therefore, K is equal to 3. At ang value ng N natin will be, how many data do we have? Ilan ba ang ating data dyan? Bilangin nga natin. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Times 3, that's 39. Plus 1, 40. So therefore, our answer is 40. There are 40 number of data. Now, let us try to substitute. We will have Q sub K is equal to 3 over 4 times 40 plus 1. Constant natin yung 1. Constant natin denominator 4. We will have now Q sub K is equal to 3 over 4 times 40 plus 1. Next. Simplify daw using the GEMDAS rule. Unayin natin yung nasa parenthesis. We will have now 3 over 4 times 41. Saan nakuha yung 41? 40 plus 1. Very good. So you can use your calculator to compute for this. That is Q sub 3. And what will be the answer? Sige, sabayan ko kayo ha. Dahil uh, sumasabay ako sa inyong pagsosolve, sa ating pagsosolve. Try daw natin. Let's have, uh, what will be the answer here? We have 3 divides 4, that is 0. 0.75 times 41. The answer will be 30.75. Ayan. Nakuha ba ang inyong mga sagot? Did you get the same answer as Chutra of Hill? Tama ba ang sagot na nakuha ninyo katulad na nakuha ni Chutra of Hill? That is 30.75. Ayan. Ngayon, we will use what? linear interpolation method for this one para makuha natin sakto yung data. Pwede ba? Okay, now, sabi natin ang ating Q sub 3. Q sub 3 is equal to 30.75. Ibig sabihin, ang ating position will be from 30 to 31. So, in between, bilangin natin ulit, ha? we have how many? We have 1, 2, 3, check natin na, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. The answer is in between 66 and 66, di ba? So that is between... Sixty-six and sixty-six. Ayan, thirty. Uh, the thirtieth. Sorry, it should be the thirtieth um, position and 
the 31st position. Yung 30th number natin is 66 and the 31st uh, number natin is 66 pa din. So therefore, it is in between 66. Using the linear interpolation method, anong una natin gagawin? Paano nga ba nakakuha ulit to? Yung value ng Q sub 3? We subtract muna, di ba, the higher value and the lower value. That is, higher value minus lower value times natin saan natin ito times? Sa decimal part, tama ba? Times sa decimal part. And then, sa natin i-add? I-add natin sa lower value. So, therefore, we will have higher value is 66, lower value is 66 pa din. Decimal part natin is 0.75 plus 66, which is our lower value. Tapos, we will have 0 times 0.75 or 0 0.75 plus 66. Therefore, we will have now 0 plus 66. So, magiging sagot natin, Q sub 3 value is 66. Nakuha bang sagot? Did you get the same answer? Okay, so very good, no? Kato na sinabi ko kung medyo nalilito, you can um, visit our DepEd Facebook pages para sa ating hashtag team replay or sa ating official YouTube channel para mapanood nyo po ulit ang mga episodes ng lahat ng DepEd Online tutorial natin. And of course, pwede kayo mag-message sa akin sa Simply of Hill at sa aking Facebook account, ang Avhil Mejino. And um, I'll be ending this topic na for today dahil next week naman pag-uusapan na lang natin ng konti ang ilan pang mga natitirang um, topic for our quarter four. And congratulations in advance sa ating mga grade 10 dahil this time you will be completing and you will be attending your moving up ceremony by siguro no next week or kung kailan man nakaschedule yan. Pero advance congratulations and Good luck and God bless para sa inyong senior high school. Muli maraming maraming salamat sa lahat na nakasama ko this afternoon. Ako ang inyong Tutor of Hill para sa Mathalino Day Friday. Huwag pong kalimutan na abangan lagi si Tutor of Hill para sa Friday, uh, sa ating Math 10, 3.40 to 4.20 p.m. Pero last week na natin eh. Pero kahit ganun pa man, huwag natin kalimutan dahil magkakaroon tayo ng summer camp. At kasama ko nga si Tutor Jester para sa ating hashtag Itulay Field Trip. So, at marami pang iba. Meron tayong art lesson, meron tayong music lesson, at iba-iba pang mga math techniques, problems, at math techniques, tips, kasama ang iba't ibang mga tutors. And of course, huwag natin kalimutan po na abangan ang inyong Tutor of Hill sa Deped TV para sa Senior High School na episodes for Business Mathematics at Senior High School episodes for Fundamentals and Accountancy and Business Management. At palambing na rin dahil lalabas din ang inyong Tutor of Hill sa Grade 9 Mathematics, dito lang yan sa DepEd TV. Ayan. So maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nakasama. Sabi ni Juanito Sala, sana po sure may free MTAP training sa summer para po ready kami pag di na po modules. Well, titignan din natin yan na sa uh, Juanito para ma-check natin kung papasok ba sa ating schedule kasi we only have, I think, one month lang yata para sa ating summer camp. So muli, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat na nakasama ko this afternoon. Standby lang kayo dahil susunod ng ating senior high school and ALS tutors. Ingat po palagi at maraming salamat sa pakikisama sa Master Day Friday with Tutor of Hill. Happy weekend! Bye!